This report is intended to shed light on true crime stories for informational and educational purposes only. Our deepest sympathies go out to the survivors and their families affected by these crimes. Welcome to National Crime Files. A once member of the infamous Manson family and participant in the 1969 La Bianca murders, Leslie Van Houten was released from prison Tuesday after being locked up for over five decades. Van Houten was released on parole after a California Court of Appeal overruled Governor Gavin Newsom's decision to deny Van Houten's parole back in 2019, 2020, and again in 2022. Governor Newsom has stated that Van Houten still poses a danger to society with potential for future violence as reasons for denying her parole recommendation from the parole board. In a statement made Friday by Governor Newsom's communications director, Aaron Mellon, said that the governor was disappointed by the Court of Appeals' decision to release Ms. Van Houten, but he would no longer pursue further action as efforts to further appeal are unlikely to succeed. In 1971, Van Houten was convicted and sentenced to death for the killings of Lino and Rosemary LaBianca. But in 1972, the death penalty was ruled to be unconstitutional by the California Supreme Court with their decision on the People v. Anderson case. Van Houten's sentence was commuted to life in prison after her third trial. She was convicted for the two murders and one count of conspiracy. She was then sentenced to seven years to life in prison. Now that Van Houten has been released, she will spend a year at a reintegration halfway house where she will learn to use the internet and buy things without cash because it's a very different world than when she went in, Van Houten's lawyer Nancy Tetrell told the Associated Press. An anonymous source told NCF that after Leslie Van Houten leaves the halfway house, she may allegedly be housed in a retirement community in either Kings County or Kern County. Stay tuned to National Crime Files for any further updates on this case. Thank you for watching and listening.